started with a family of Splunkers out exploring when they ran into something they weren't expecting. A frightened dog named Abby, deep inside the Tom Moore cave system in Perry County, Missouri. They didn't have the gear for a rescue, so they took a picture, left a lantern to signal its location, and called for help. That's where Rick Haley comes in. A certified cave responder got the call, and he recruited some help to go find Abby. We didn't know the extent of the injuries of the dog or if the dog could walk or anything like that. And so the idea was, is I had a duffel bag and a blanket and I took it with me. And the idea was, is we would take the dog likely and put it in the duffel bag with its head sticking out and turn it into a package, which would make it much easier to move the dog through the cave. Oh, 13 year old Abby was lost in a cave, this sweet pup was lost in a cave and look some uh, some some cave divers i guess you call them found her couldn't do much for her so they left the light there as you heard in the news report now this what stuck out to me really fast was uh, Rick Haley was the guy who did come back and 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 carry out the rest of this um, this rescue uh, he's a certified cave responder. How do you fall into that business? How does that title come about? If you're 12 years old and you're like, you know what, mom, one day I'm gonna be a certified cave responder. What's the process? What's the training? I don't know, maybe someone knows. I'm just curious about these things. Anyways, this whole thing continues because they left that lantern as I point out and let's see the dog actually make it out and back to his owners. Let's see more. At that time, we bundled her up and zipped her up and she pretty much, uh, kind of laid down and went to sleep at that point because this is probably the driest, softest, and warmest thing that this dog had seen in a very long time. And I'm talking weeks, maybe longer. The team called the Beale Assistant Fire Chief to help track down Abby's owner. Come to find out, she'd been lost for more than two months. Abby's owners say they hadn't seen her since June 9th and assumed she was gone forever. A miracle dog making it through an unlikely trek, finally reunited with her family. Gone since June 9th, over a month. Why June 9th, two months, I'm thinking July 9th. Jesus, so Abby, 13 year old, old ass Abby was stuck in a cave for over two months. And then they knocked on a few doors, did find the owner. Look, she's doing so much better. Let's check out this picture from uh, from the Bonnert family. Oh, Abby, she's doing fine. Uh, also, another picture of her sitting in that cave waiting for uh, the rescuers to come back, sitting under the light. It touches your heart, doesn't it was? By the way, she lost like half her body weight. She was apparently just surviving off of her fat. And um, that's how she made it out. This is a miracle dog, courageous and wise, right was? Waz is a cat person, you guys. <laughs> Listen, man, <laughs> I, I, I understand. Where's, where's Sniffles? Is Sniffles nearby? Uh, uh, what's her, her name? name? Her name's Mimi, but no, she's <laughs> she's not. I think she's off somewhere being a crazy cat. But you know, I understand why these stories should be heartwarming. Um, and, and maybe I'm just a cold blooded person, but JR, I, but I felt absolutely nothing watching that segment. <laughs> nothing like well, these dogs supposed to be yeah. so damn smart and great. All oh, the dogs, they're geniuses. They're Where's the quote? So instinctive. How the hell you get lost in a cave? What the hell I'm were a, you doing down there? I'm gonna tell you, maybe I neglected you on this one point. Graphic uh, three, I think it is, you guys. Abby's owner. Figures Abby ended up in the cave after falling to a sinkhole or a hidden entrance, a hidden entrance. Haley said there were paw prints everywhere indicating that she initially tried to get out. And afterwards, they believe that she hunkered down and essentially lived off that body fat that I mentioned earlier. So do you feel bad yet that she accidentally fell in this hole, not sniffed around and was too curious about this big cave? What was it 22 mile long cave? It's crazy. Uh, I'm usually the one that's the uh, the a hole dog uh, person, but you know what? This is one of those situations that just wasn't Abby's fault, and actually, it wasn't her time either. Yeah, I, you know, I guess I guess if if she fell down some secret trap door by accident, <laughs> I feel bad for the dog. But again, like you know, the way this the way this rescue cave guy was talking as if he was like, you know, he had just earned a purple heart. It was kind of <laughs> ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie, man. All, it's a life. All that for some for a dog. It's 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 amazing, honestly. It's a life, and it brings joy to others.